just okay, like right. that. <laughs> I'm so going to steal it. Michelle, you want to state that for me? Yeah. Michelle Manelis, mindfood.com. Anytime. Okay. This is not your most glamorous role. And I just wondered how long did it take in the makeup chair to achieve that look? Uh, I think it was about three to four hours. Um, and in real life, getting Elizabeth ready took three to four hours as well. So it's kind of, yes, felt authentic in some ways. This is the third time you've disguised your looks for a role, including I, Tonya and Suicide Squad, mm. which a lot of people would say takes a lot of guts. Um, how do you see that? I mean, is it, is it something that, not that you necessarily need to prove to people, mm. but I mean, what goes through your mind when you think of each of those roles and how you're going to have to disguise yourself? It's funny, I, I, it's funny that you use the phrasing that takes a lot of guts, because actually I feel like I'm more hidden with more, you know, a more specific character look that is different to how I look in real life. I actually feel like I'm really hidden within the character and that actually makes me feel safer in some ways. I actually feel more vulnerable uh, when I'm dressed similarly to myself. Like at the moment I'm playing a character who, you know, it's current day, you know, I look not exactly like myself but not too dissimilar to myself and that feels very strange and um, it, it feels a bit vulnerable and, and it's hard it's much harder to disassociate myself with the character. I have to work harder to be the character. Whereas, you know, playing Queen Elizabeth I, it just, I didn't recognize myself. I, I did obviously didn't sound my, like myself, but the process of getting into that gave me time to, each step of the way, stop being myself. It made it way easier to do the acting job. Yeah. Um, you're also a very, very powerful woman. You're not a queen, but you're no. also a very <laughs> powerful woman. Um, do you notice the difference, like with, you know, a lot of people say when they become famous, it's not them that changes, but it's the people around them. Mm. Did you notice that from when, I don't know, your Pan Am days to now? Yeah, I think with every uh, step along my career, the, uh, the more uh, public notoriety I've had, it yeah, it's changed my life in different ways and it's very weird and you know, it just kept, keeps getting a little weirder every time, but, um, but that's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, but it is a strange thing. Yeah, it's definitely weird. There's really no other word for it other than it's weird. It has, there are good sides and there are bad sides, but it's, yeah, it's very strange. And where will you be for Christmas? Are you going home? Uh, no, I'm gonna be in England this year. I've had the last two Christmases in Australia, and so my um, my husband's family would like us to be there this year. We have to take it in turns, you know how it goes. Yeah, yeah. well it's only fair. <laughs> it's only fair, yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.